Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 10 past 11 in the evening of Monday the 1st of August 2022. I'm currently reading Empire of the Sun by J.G. Ballard. I'm enjoying it so far. Just doing a little bit of filming now before I go to bed and uh, yeah, I might do some editing later as well. I should probably do some work too. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Dane reads. Hello everybody, it's vlog time. It is currently 9.30pm uh, on Monday the 8th of August. It's been a busy old few weeks, a few days even, so I was just working for most of the last week to be honest. Um, and then after our Thursday call, uh, Q&A call for one of my clients, uh, I went out for a drink with Shay and uh, we went to the Mad Squirrel which is like a local pub and we found that someone called Steph Willis was playing there, who is a local musician who I quite like, so we stayed to watch her set. Ended up getting pretty drunk. We went back to Shay's place. It's the first time she's invited me over. So that was really nice. Um, but we did continue drinking and we were up to like 8 in the morning. So yeah, that was that was fun though. And then um, Friday, basically I felt like death. Um, we ordered a pizza and had a pizza. And then I came home and I was going to stay at mine for the night. And then I ended up having an anxiety attack. So uh, luckily Shay let me go back to hers and she looked after me. So that was nice. Uh, but yeah, felt a little better on Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. Uh, on Saturday my band played and on Sunday I did a solo set at a, a local event called uh, uh, Festibel, which was in aid of cancer research, so we raised about £700. Uh, but it was, you know, fun to go and play at that. Shay came along to that. Some, well, I think actually on the Saturday I knew every act that was performing and I saw all of them except for the last one. So that was really nice. And then, uh, yeah, we had a takeaway on the Saturday night as well. Um, from um, what's it from uh, Bite Down which is the vegan food place near me so that was delicious yeah and then Sunday we went back and then on Sunday evening I went to the Sunday Jam at the Bellevue and played some songs there my, uh, my, 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 my battery ran out but I'm back I can't remember what I was saying so I think I'm just gonna get to the bit where I talk about the books I've read so I read Asterix Max number 11 um, which is just one of the Asterix sort of graphic novel compilation it's kind of like an annual um so that was pretty good that was like a that was like a 3.5 maybe a 4 out of 5 just good to practice my french on the subject of french i also read les vols spatiaux habitat by isaac asimov so this is is basically non-fiction by asimov about um space flight space travel and like the kind of technology humans are going to need to colonize um, Mars and from there the stars, you know? Um, so it was really interesting to read that in French and actually I managed to follow along with it okay, so that was good. Probably a four out of five. I do really like um, Asimov in general, so it's cool to read him in French. I also read Empire of the Sun by J.G. Ballard, so this was like a war novel uh, set in uh, Shanghai during the Second World War, which was where Ballard was born and raised and he had kind of experienced being interned in a camp by the Japanese and all of this stuff. So it's a fiction novel, but with a lot of like non-fiction to it, I suppose. Uh, really interesting, probably like a strong 3.5 out of 5. Um, it's said to be the best British war novel, at least according to the blurb on the front of it. And I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but it was good, you know. Uh, then what else did I read? Then I read, also read The Hungry by Stephen W. Booth and somebody else by Stephen W. Booth and Harry Shannon. Um, so this is a zombie novel. It's pretty badass. The main character in it is a cop lady who is like in the zombie apocalypse in a wedding dress blowing shit up. So that's always good, you know? Um, and the reason I read this is because it's published by Genius Books and it's all, one of the authors, Stephen W. Booth, is in charge there. Um, and they've offered to publish Meat or to republish Meat. Um, so I wanted to give it a read to check their quality and that sort of thing. And it was pretty good. It was either a strong 3.5 out of 5 or a weak 4 out of 5. Just pretty good zombie zombie stuff. Um, nice and horror as well, like lots of death in it. There was a scene in it where um, they're in a car and everything's on fire around them. That was pretty badass. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed reading that. And I'm now reading Find Them Dead by Peter James, which is just one of his Roy Grace novels. Um, someone's got caught bringing a ton of cocaine in. Not an actual ton, although not far off it, I think. Six million pounds worth of cocaine uh, inside a classic Ferrari and they got caught. And basically they're going to blackmail people by saying, basically we're going to kill your loved ones if, if they find this person uh, guilty. So the tagline is one word she dies, two words she lives. Those words being guilty or not guilty. And it's pretty good so far. I'm about a quarter of the way in. It's on path like a four out of five, which is default for what all of these are. 
I've also been listening to Stranger in a Strange Land, which is my audio book by Robert A. Heinlein. And I'm on part 87 and 94, so I'll probably finish that in the next couple of days. But I, I uh, listen to it while jogging, so I need to do more jogging. And I have been jogging this evening as well, so there is that. But yes. And I think that's all I've got for you guys. Um, yeah, I've been out in the garden today, harvesting a few bits, moving a few plants. Still have some last little bits to do. I need to plant some onions and um, I've turned this, um, like a bunch of old bookcases basically into a planter for onions. So I need to, um, need to, need to plant those. Cause what I'm doing with my onions basically is a lot of the stuff is I'm like freezing bits of it. So the onions I made into pickled onions and then, cause you can also eat like the stems. They're kind of like spring onions, you know? And, um, so I froze all of the stems because those are just going into random bits. I also harvested some tomatoes, some kale and some runner beans today. And I harvested a bunch of mint, uh, oregano, sage and rosemary. And I'm just freezing all of that again um, because it's just kind of, I'm not eating stuff as fast as I'm growing it, I guess. Uh, but it'll be nice because it means during the winter I'll have stuff to sort of dip into that's, that will still be sort of from the garden. So, uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I would end this vlog now, but I don't think this is a very long one, so I think I'm going to keep it going for another week. Yeah. Hello vloggy people, I forgot to mention I also read The Lost King of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, uh, which is part of my buddy read with Joel Swagman, and it was alright, you know, probably a week four out of five. By this point I can't remember what's like original to each story and what they're just repurposing again and again for each story. Uh, and Joel has been doing a really good job of that with his reviews. Um, but there were some great puns and all of that good stuff. And it's just, you know, a heartwarming read. It's hard to be sad when you're reading an odd story. Greetings, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, today it is currently Saturday the 13th of August at 11.30pm. Uh, Been a busy old week, I spent a lot of time uh, with Shay, so she came over, I can't even remember now, we worked out we'd seen each other every day for like 10 days or so. Um, so she'd been staying over, but she was being super supportive, so she was sort of sticking around here while I was doing some work. Um, had a lot of calls and stuff, and then yesterday it was the Art Centre Open Mic at Wickham Art Centre, so I hosted that, did a little bit of the sound during one performance, and played some songs as well, so that was fun. And today I'm just sort of being productive, cracking on with things. Um, Reading-wise, so I finished reading Find Them Dead by Peter James, that was a 4 out of 5, pretty decent crime novel following uh, basically the trial after a drugs mule gets caught importing a load of cocaine and um, his like ultimate boss or whatever is threatening people and killing people and stuff to stop the trial from going ahead. A uh, bit of a lacklustre ending to be honest, but still I did enjoy it, it was aight. Um, and then I read Alan Bennett Office Suite, which is over here. So this is two different plays. It has Green Forms and A Visit from Miss Prothero. These are both designed to be performed back to back, um, and they both take place in an office. They kind of reminded me of a British version of um, Something Happened by Joseph Heller, but with more northern humour. I love Alan Bennett. That was a four out of five. I would have to go and see either of those plays. Um, and now I'm currently reading The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon, which is on for a 4 out of 5. I'm slightly over a third of the way through. I know Charles Heathcote here on Booktube is a big fan of this one, and I can see why it's definitely his style. Uh, kind of humorous, quirky murder mystery. Uh, we're kind of following some kids as main characters, which normally annoys me, but I think it's working well in this one, so that's good. Um, I've got my bedtime book, it is La Lune by Isaac Asimov, so that is a French non-fiction book about the moon. Um, by Asimov, who's one of my favourite authors. Um, I also have a David Attenborough book I'm going to start as a bedtime book. And I'm currently, I've been doing a bit more jogging today and listening to my audiobook of Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert A. Heinlein. I'm currently on part 91 of 94, so I'll finish that, I, I guess, imminently. Um, it is kind of too hot. I mean, we're in the middle of a heat wave here at the moment, but I'm doing my best to try and get some exercise anyway. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just off to be a bit more productive, do a bit more work, a bit more writing, all of that good stuff. Um, and I might even do some editing this evening because Shay is at hers tonight. She's sleeping, basically catching up on sleep, which fair enough. I had a lot of sleep last night as well. Tomorrow, 
We were talking about going to Oxford to check out some museums, but again, heat wave, so it's going to be too hot for that. So we might go to the cinema on the basis that the cinema has air conditioning, and we haven't been to the cinema together yet. So we've got like a list of things we want to do together. Um, because she's never really like been taken out on dates and stuff before, so I want to make sure that I'm I'm doing that and that you know I'm helping her to live the dream. So so that's where I'm at. Um, I guess I'll keep the vlog going for now, and the next update is probably going to be the end of the vlog. I don't really know. I can't remember again how many videos I've taken for this vlog. Been a bit shit at it, but uh, BookTube's kind of fallen off my radar a little bit because I've had so many so much other stuff to do. I've been focusing on work and life and reading and writing, you know, but I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. Hello and guten tag, I'm slightly blurry, let's fix that. It's currently 5 to 11 on Sunday the 14th of August, um, didn't do too much today, my other half's not been feeling too well, so um, I have to take some goodies around to her, but she was okay, so I just did a little trip to the shop, that's her now on WhatsApp, did a little trip to the shop, um, and then came back home, and I've been being productive ever since. I've ticked off most, ticked off most of the stuff on my to-do list, uh, basically all I have left is to, uh, I want to make a jalapeno mac and cheese in a minute, and I've got to write a review for my current read, which is The Carrier by Sophie Hanna. Um, so that's pretty much the plan for the rest of these, this, this, this evening. Might do a bit more editing, I'm going to do some filming up until midnight, a little bit more work. Um, but it's good, it kind of puts me ahead of stuff, which means actually I might be able to spend some editing time on Lightfold book number four, and some writing time on my current work in progress uh, called Grebos, which has taken me forever. Um, I finished reading The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon, that was a 4 out of 5, so as I say now I've picked up The Carrier by Sophie Hanna. Oh, I also finished um, fucking Robert A. Heinlein, Stranger in a Strange Land, probably a strongish 3.5 out of 5. Um, it really grew on me to begin with, I wasn't enjoying it at all, but by the end I was quite enjoying it. I listened to the audiobook of that while jogging. So now I've finished that, I've started Unfinished Tales by J.R.R. Tolkien, another good old long audiobook that'll keep me going for a fair old while. Um, and I also finished reading La Lune by Isaac Asimov, which is just uh, science non-fiction, written by Isaac Asimov, except in French. So that was pretty good, that was probably a 4 out of 5 as well. And um, yeah, all is good. So um, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thanks a lot for watching this week's reading vlog. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of these books if you read them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.